good, everyone? I am the Mouth of the South, and there are rumors, myths, legends of a band that has seemingly come out of nowhere and somehow have produced the heaviest tracks of the year. Some of the heaviest, most disgusting breakdowns anyone has ever laid their eyes on. And they goeth by the name of, of Larsenia Row. Now, from what I can understand, very, very little is actually known about these guys. And they kind of just, as I say, they came out of the blue and all of a sudden they're just like, bang, heavy, bang, most disgusting stuff you've ever heard of, bang. And I kind of don't know what to think about it because like, the way I've heard so much stuff about them in deathcore group, in, in deathcore groups, in deathcore groups and within the reaction community and stuff, uh, I've even seen them get covered on Cardavox Academy. I've not actually watched that video as of yet because I've not I don't want to hear anything from these guys I was trying to save it for now obviously, but uh Yeah, they've suddenly just gone like hey We're new and we provide the brutes So I'm waiting for the most disgusting stuff I've ever heard But I don't think they're gonna be able to live up to the expectations that I've set them at because like people have said like it's like an amalgamation of like old signs of the swarm with like fucking um MSN is that what it was MSN deathcore whatever it was back in the day I can't remember um and Lorna Shaw and Infant Annihilator and I'm just I I don't see it I just like I'd love to see it don't get me wrong of course but I just don't see anything actually being that heavy. Um, but nonetheless, I'm here to check them out. Last year Nero here on YouTube. Uh, only 2.87k subscribers. So when I say these guys came out of nowhere, like, I fucking mean it. Um, I've gone for their song Alienation because it was the top of the uh, recommended. And also because it came with CJ McCreary. Now, I will also say I'm already scared of this band. Because the fucking EP cover that they've got is terrifying. I don't know why. Like, there's not anything inherently creepy about it. It's just a guy staring at a camera. But, yeah, there's something just, like, weirdly creepy. Some kind of uncanny valley. I'm waiting for him. I'm, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's weird. It's eerie. It's creepy. So, good job already. Now let's not waste anyone else's time and let's just get straight into this video, shall we? This is La Senior Row Alienation featuring CJ McCreary. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's fucking do this. Okay, already creepy. I also love songs that start with like radio static. Like I'm imagining like an old beat up car going down like a dirt driveway with a body in the boot. About to dump a body in the woods. Oh. That is some clangy bass, I like it. Dun dun dun. Loads! Oh! 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 Yo! Did he do the CJ thing? Oh, groove! Oh, slams! His highs are sick! Nice. Dun 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 That's sick. I hate this visual. The fuck was that? Like, 
What is with all these weird tunnel sounds? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. What the fuck? Fuck me! <laughs> Fucking sick. Oh! What is going on? What the fuck is going on? That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. The bam, that fucking Ben. Go genocide! I mean, that was. Oh, what was that? Fuck! Oh, that's CJ! <laughs> this is sick. Yo, fucking just fuck off! Fuck it out! That was CJ in the background of the visualizer. That was sick. Last time! Last time! Fucking mad! Okay. Fuck off! Oh, fuck off! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> oh my god! What was that sound? That I don't like this. I'm not trusting. Yeah, no. I ain't gonna be that time. What the? F Thank you. You're welcome. What the fuck just fucking happened? Can someone explain this? Huh! What? So, what, what, what happened? The, the only kind of thing I can compare that to is listening to a murder. Like, there's been a murder, and we've just fucking heard it. I, I, I blab some air. Like, that was, okay, like, all the shit I said at the beginning about like, oh, no, nah, I don't believe they can be that heavy. I fucking lied. I've lied to you all. I'm sorry. I didn't actually think it would go like that. Because you know what I said at the beginning with like the radio static and like the old timey music playing. 
it's and like the the visual I had in my head was someone in like an old car driving down like a dirt pathway through the woods like in the pale moonlight and they've got a body in the boot of the car and they're just about to bury it maybe that body was still alive and kicking they took it to the middle of the woods and then they fucking murdered it and then that's what we heard and then they were just like hey yo cj wanna hop on this and they did what <laughs> like i uh, firstly i want to say the song was killer like it was fucking awesome uh the vocalist i have no idea who you are so i can't give you name credits but Whoever you are, you're fucking sick. There were moments in there, you're doing shit that I've never heard any vocalist do. And it's it's things vocalists can do. Like, but it's, I don't know, you're touching bass with things that, as I say, haven't quite been done before. So you're, you're taking these like techniques, like a simple tunnel throat and just doing weird shit with it, making it sound like you're gagging on your own phlegm, that someone's ripped out your fucking esophagus, and you're just like struggling for breath as like blood fluctuates up and down like your throat. Sick, fucking sick. Lows were sick, highs were sick. The highs were really crisp but filthy. I swear he did CJ's Donald Duck thing at a point as well. Whether that was actually CJ or the guy doing the track, I'm pretty sure it was the last senior row guy. Because I'm pretty sure CJ only came in for his breakdown part, which went on for so long, by the way. Which I do love about CJ's features. They do tend to, like, he's an expensive man to get on a track, but, like, the guy pays, pay, pays his way, basically. Um, and always brings his A game. And. I, I almost feel like CJ heard what the guy did on this track. It was just like, okay, I fucking see you. Let's let's get gnarly. And that's all this track was from beginning to end. It was just gross, disgusting, vile, malevolent shit. And I've never been more intrigued in my life. I'm just so, like, slightly guffawed and baffled because I, I just don't know what to think and where to go with this because that was unlike anything I've ever heard like it wasn't like oh it sounds like when when I heard the oh it sounds like early signs early death chord you know infant annihilator Lorna Shaw I wasn't quite expecting that because you had like the slammy riffage of old naughty's death core with like the never-ending trempic forever breakdowns that have kind of become a staple of deathcore as a genre at the moment, which is great. Um, and then you've also just got the like unrelenting pounding heaviness with the gross, vile, disgusting vocals of Infant Annihilator that really make you question what you're listening to. So I can see all the points that were made, but at the same time, it's well and truly its own thing. And I really love that there was still some semblance of a song structure. Um, like, you very clearly had, like, a, a, an ostinato of the bam, dun, 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 dun part. Like, that was um, very much repeated throughout the song, so it did maintain the semblance of structure. And then from just, like, the halfway point onwards, they kind of just went, I fuck you all. And just delivered on unrelenting cruelty and it was awesome this is what deathcore sounds like to people who don't understand deathcore and don't quite get it um do you know what i mean like if you were to show a normie a deathcore song this is what they would think it sounds like uh and fucking hell i just i, I don't have any words really despite the fact that i've just talked for like 10 fucking minutes i i'm just intrigued and now want to go check out the rest of their stuff because it was honestly sick it was really really sick and disturbing but in a good way like it was dark it was a hundred percent dark and 
I believe Bartholomew, Reginald, Eckbert, Engelbert, Kingsley, Dillian, Ophelius, Winston, Nigel the Third may have one or two things to say about this when it comes to the end of year breakdowns. But, um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, guys, that is it from me. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. Just naughty things in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the track. Let me know what you think of Last Senior Row. And let me know what you think of me. And other than that, you've been wonderful people. I have been the mouth for the stuff. And as always, you guys are the real motherfucking heroes. I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs>